What's up you guys? Avery here. Wanted to bring you guys a deck profile today uh, because I've not been uploading a lot because I have been out of town for the regional. A regional went okay. Ended up selling my zoo deck as I said I would. Um, I unfortunately ended up going X4. Uh, went to the last round X3 at table 34. It was top 48 and I ended up losing to a subscriber. So at least I didn't lose to some random. At least I lost to a subscriber. <laughs> but Still a lot of fun, made a lot of money, so that's what matters. But let's go ahead and get in, into this deck profile here. Uh, I saw this on uh, Doug Zeef's channel. I don't believe he actually posted the deck profile, but he posted the deck profile on uh, TCG Player. So if you guys haven't already checked out Doug Zeef's channel, I highly suggest that you do. Uh, pretty cool guy, uh, uploads great content. He's almost at 10,000 subscribers. So yeah, if you guys have not already subscribed to him, I suggest you guys go and do so. I'm sure you guys have or at least the majority of you have heard about him. But this deck that he has created for us today is really, really cool, in my opinion. Uh, Uriah, Lord of Searing Flames, Trap Monsters, the deck. So, um, I believe I have not posted a Uriah deck on my channel before. I may have years and years ago. Um, but Uriah, apparently, according from what Doug Zeef said, was that uh, Uriah used to top regionals years and years ago because... Um, it was a good to decent control deck because you could just, you know, send three traps like, say, Metal Reflex Slime, play out Uriah, he's going to have 3,000. Well, in this deck, uh, now that we have the release of Fallen Paradise and Pot of Desires and things of that nature, and we also have really broken uh, trap monsters such as Statue of Anguish Pattern and uh, Cyber Shadow Garden, uh, Tiki Curse, Tiki Soul, all that good stuff the deck is a little bit more viable now. I mean, it's not going to probably, you know, win a YCS or anything, but with the right conditions, it might be able to top a, a original. I wouldn't put it past somebody, especially if they're good with the deck. You really need to know what you're doing as well, especially with crazy rulings involving trap monsters. But we'll get into that uh, later in the video. So let's go ahead and dive right into this here. We have three MVP, Uriah, Lord of Searing Flames, a Sacred Beast, a badass card, I love it to death. <laughs> it can't be normal summoner set. Must be special from your hand by sending three face-up trap cards you control to the graveyard and cannot be special, by the way. So, you know, Reflex Slime, Reflex Slime, and a Stungray would do the do the trick. Um, and then his effect goes on to say that he gains a thousand for each continuous trap. So he's just like Slifer, except it's for trap cards in your graveyard. Once per turn, you can target one set spell or trap card your opponent controls, destroy that target, and spell and trap cards cannot be active in response to this effect's activation. So they can still Ghost Ogre your Uriah, but they can't Solemn Strike the effect. They would have to Solemn Strike the summon. Uh, they would have to, of course, Solemn Warning the summon. They can't use Breakthrough Skill, Skill Drain, anything like that. So pretty, pretty good. Um, then we have two card card D and then three calculator. Calculator gains 300 for the combined levels of all face-up monsters you control. So since your Rai is a level 10, if this is your only monster and you summon calculator, then you have two 3,000 beat six on board. Uh, for the spells, we have three desires and one terraforming for the three fallen paradise along with three duality. Fallen paradise is the new field spell for the sacred beasts. If you control your Raya, Haman, or Raphael, or their fusion monster Armatile in your monster zone, then they... Um, cannot be targeted by card effects, and they cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. So they pretty much turn into magic specters, and then if you control any of the sacred beasts or armatile in your monster zone, you get to draw two cards. And then you can only use that effect once per turn. And then going on with the traps, which is pretty much what makes them <laughs> most of the deck. Two Quaking Mirror Force, one Tiki Curse, one Tiki Soul, three Imperial Custom, three Statue of Anguish Pattern, two Metal Reflex Slime, two Zone of the Spirit, two Cyber Shadow Gardener, three Stung Ray, and three Solemn Strike. Imperial Custom is obviously your MVP trap card of the deck just because, you know, let's say you have Imperial Custom set along with uh, a Metal Reflex Slime on board and a face up Statue of Anguish Pattern since these trap monsters are not like the Paleozoics where they are still treated as trap cards and your opponent tries to twin twister your two face up trap monsters that you have on the field you can chain imperial custom thus saving them and also if they try let's say that you have an imperial custom set and a statue of anguish pattern set and your opponent activates twin twister you can chain the anguish pattern and then chain the custom so the chain is going to resolve backwards your anguish pattern is going to come out and then once the twin twisters resolves it's not able to pop the anguish pattern because imperial custom is on the field if I'm correct. I do believe that the Imperial Custom would still pop, but the Anguish Pattern would stay. Don't quote me on that. Um, Imperial Custom has a lot of really intricate, uh, crazy ruling, so I could be wrong. But it's either that the Twin Twister would pop the Imperial Custom, or it would fizzle out in this case of this example. Um, 
and then Solemn Strike is Solemn Strike. Moving on to the extra deck, we have uh, Gustav Max, because you play Triple Uriah. Um, Flare Metal requires two level 7s. You can make that with your trap monsters. Uh, Draco Sack, Big Eye, M7. Crystal Zero Lancer, uh, he can also be exceeded by using a rank 5 water, exceeds your control. He normally requires three level 6 waters, and then exceeds materials attached to him also become exceeds materials on himself. And then he gains 500 for each exceeds material attached to it, and then if he would be destroyed, you can detach exceeds material from him instead. And then once per turn, you can detach exceeds material and all face-up monsters your opponent controls have their effects negated. So he's basically the Tiger King. Then you got Zed Mayo, Lightning, uh, Polites, Durandal, uh, Frizadon. Uh, Frizadon, once per turn, if an exceeds monster would activate an effect by detaching exceeds material, you can detach exceeds material from uh, himself instead. And then you have the regular Utopia, Carnagorian, Silent Honor Arc, and Castell. Um, keep in mind that you can also exceed with trap monsters. That this is this is basically Paleozoic, but just a uh, regular trap card version. In the Paleozoic deck, you know we all know that. Uh, the Paleozoic Trap Monsters turn into regular monsters, whereas cards such as Anguish Pattern, Abyss Stungray, Cyber Shadow Garden, and all these things, they still stay as trap cards, which is why Imperial Custom is so good. Um, and then also, a neat thing about Cyber Shadow Garden is that it's kind of like Zoma the Spirit, but it has unknown attack and defense. It's a machine-type Earth, um, and you can only activate it during your opponent's main phase. He becomes an effect monster card, still treated as a trap. If he's selected as an attack target, then his attack and defense become the same as the monster that is attacking him. Then uh, it goes into the spell and trap zone during your opponent's end phase. So after they pop it, you can just reset it. So you can basically, if you have anguish pattern on the board, you can constantly recycle popping a card on the field uh, with Cyber Shadow Garden, which is also another great card um, in this deck is anguish pattern. Um, he has zero attack, 2500 defense, rock type earth. He's also treated as a trap card. If summoned this way, he cannot be targeted by opponent's card effects while I control another trap card that is a monster. And if he special summoned from your spell and trap, or if a card is special summoned from your spell and trap zone to the monster zone while this card is a monster, you can target card on the field, destroy it. And it's not once per turn. So let's say that you have anguish pattern on the board with a face of imperial custom and you go activate metal reflect slime, chain abyss stone ray, chain cyber shadow garden, all three of them will come out and then you get to pop three cards. So this card is absolutely good. You have to play it at three. Um, I remember playing a a version like this, uh, I want to say a couple years ago, and it is a lot of fun to play. I highly suggest you guys pick it up, especially if you know you're not really being competitive like that right now, and you're like me, just taking a break from the game and just waiting for Link Summoning to come out and see what the next balance brings. Um, since we'll probably get one right before Link Summoning comes out, but let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you guys want to see this in a live stream that I do? I might do one later today. Um, but leave your comments down below what you guys think about the deck. Be sure to leave a like, hit that notification bell so that you are up to date with all of my uploads, and I will see you guys in the next video.